My name is Dr. Bob Aklami. I'm an orthopedic spinal surgeon here at Illinois Spine Institute. Today, I like to talk about SI joint pain, which is one of the most common and uh, typically overlooked causes of a chronic back pain. So where is your sacroiliac joint? Well, it's where your pelvis or your hip bone connects to your sacrum. It's a joint which moves very little. It stabilizes uh, through multiple ligaments, which are some of the strongest ligaments in your body. We have ligaments behind your SI joint, and then you also have ligaments in front of your SI joint. Uh, it's also stabilized with the muscles around your pelvis and back. SI joint can be a source of pain uh, and caused by many conditions. It could be a, pain, a source of your pain due to trauma, if you're falling, if you injured your SI joint, some inflammatory conditions, some rheumatological conditions can cause your SI joint pain. I love to walk and I walk, oh, three to four miles, four days a week. And I found I couldn't do that anymore. Or if I did walk, I would be standing at the kitchen sink, maybe putting dishes in the dishwasher, and I couldn't stand for too long without that pain being really severe. That more than walking. Walking, I could kind of walk through it, but standing in one place was absolutely the worst thing. Now, SI joint pain is fairly common. In my practice, uh, up to 20% of my patients suffer from uh, chronic SI joint pain. There are other studies which suggest even higher prevalence of the SI joint pain. Uh, as a part of our history taken, we asked the patient to tell us what they've done in the past in terms of treatment for their hip, for their lower back and how it successfully was. Once we secure a good thorough history, then we proceed to examine our patients and there are specific maneuvers that we perform during the physical examination to elicit SI joint pain. Once we're confident that SI joint is the most likely cause of the patient's symptom, then we ask our patient to undergo diagnostic SI joint injection. And these injections are uh, simple, injection of a lidocaine or numbing medication to the SI joint. And if the pain goes away, then we're more confident the SI joint is a pain generator. Before I had the surgery, um, I would be kind of okay in the morning, but by noon, I was starting to have some pretty severe pain. I'd have to sit down and not do anything for a while. And then I could get up and do a little bit again. And then by the end, by the evening, it was severely painful. I had to stop doing anything that I really wanted to do. I, even doing dishes, you know, sitting or, or washing a couple of dishes or putting them in the dishwasher, standing in one place, it was probably the worst. Standing in a grocery line, couldn't really do that without being in pain. Um, just getting, getting little things done that you would take for granted. This is an outpatient minimally invasive procedure which is done by making a small incision and placing two or three implants across the SI joint. The patients are discharged home the same day and they typically follow up with me a week later and we may or may not do physical therapy post-operatively regarding how, how the patient is doing. I've had tremendous success with the implant and for the right patient with the right diagnosis uh, this has been very successful in my experience. I saw Dr. Lamy and the first thing that he suggested was physical therapy and an injection, doing both. And so I started the physical therapy, I had the injection, and I did PT for probably six, eight weeks, and it got better. And the, of course the injection helped too, it got better. The first injection I had lasted almost a year. And then it started to come back, and I thought, okay, well, I'll do the exercises. I did a little more PT, and I did another injection, and I was good for another few months. And then it would start to come back closer and closer and closer. And I asked Dr. Lamy about the surgery, and he says, well, let's see if you're a candidate, and there's um, injections that they do as a test for the SI joint fusion surgery. And I got, I got those, I got several of them, and, and they turned out to be positive for the SI. And, and I went to have the surgery. It was awesome. So SI joint is one of the most common source of back pain, which is unfortunately overlooked by many physicians. 
Most of us are not trained to treat this eye joint during our residency. It's been only recently that their technologies such as iFuse are available to treat it. So most physicians in practice today have not been trained during the residency to treat or even look for the SI joint pain. After the initial surgery and I recovered from that, I'm 78 years old now and I, you know, feel very fortunate to be able to move around and do the things I want to do without pain. I would say iFuse gave me my life back. If you believe that you have SI joint pain or you've been told you have SI joint pain and you haven't had any relief, we would love to see you and evaluate you to determine whether indeed you have SI joint pain and offer you options.